come now, Jean-Paul Desmond. Three o'clock in the morning and still you wander the house. Why? Because your evil wanders here, Jacques Elwademont. I solemnly call. No oaths on your honor that you would be compelled to uphold. It might be the end of us both. And Erica might never rise to a new beginning. You will not interfere with the cryonics process that will return my darling to me. You will keep clear of the seance through which I will hear her sweet voice again. You giving orders, well, I elect to ignore them. You will end this resistance to me, Jean-Paul, and that's an order you will obey. Now, no more searching. Everyone in this house is always searching for something. Effigies to return me to purgatory. <laughs> Poison to kill who knows who. Now, go to bed. <sighs> I'm tired. Alison? Alison? Oh. Jean-Paul. What time is it? It's after three. What justifies your working practically all through the night? Call it intrigue. I'm not sure whether Dr. Menken was a genius or a blunderer. I have to assimilate these notes so I can find out. But why must you keep at it all through the night? Well, I can't sleep very well anyway. And what else is there to do? Since you keep us here as prisoners on this island. Good night, and please don't disturb anything.
shoot. Oh, he is a he, isn't he? Where'd you ever get him from on this weird island? Oh, I didn't know anything as wholesome and innocent like that existed on Mel Jardin. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, I haven't seen anything like him for... Well, it seems like a whole lifetime. But Quito? Raxel said, like, nothing like this could exist on this island for 300 years. Well, I guess this little fellow disproves that, doesn't it? What are you going to do with it? I mean, are you going to keep it? You should. You should keep it for a pet. He'd make a lovely pet. Something nice in this house of accident and death. I know you can't answer me, but I really think you should keep him. If you didn't, I would like to. I wonder how he managed out there. Just that poisonous underground around. What? You want me to have him? Oh. Oh, he's so sweet. He'd be marvelous to have around, but... Oh, my mother would have a fit. Unless... Unless maybe you could fix up a nice cage to keep him in my room. Well, then she couldn't object that much, could she? Could you do it? Keto, you did want to help me, didn't you, down in the crypt? And Mr. Desmond was so angry at me. Well, build him a nice cage, not too small, so he has some room to move around in. Oh, well, nobody could object to have a pet like that, even in a house like this. Good morning, Miss Holly. You know, everything I've heard about this island isn't the truth. Truth is a matter of seeing. Well, I've seen. You told me that because of a curse, nothing could exist outside in that poisonous jungle. The devil's evil is everywhere on Mount Yadam. Well, just this once, Raxel, you may be wrong. Well, it may be that demon wants you to think I am. Sorrow and purpose combine. Time is irrelevant. Jean-Paul, you must stop driving yourself like this. 
He had to read notes that you couldn't possibly even understand. I want to understand. Cellular reconstruction is beyond most scientific minds. The recreation of a human body from a living cell is years and years away. Now, if Dr. Menken had only lived, perhaps he'd have been able to tell us whether the direction that he's taken in these notes was the right one. I can only find his missing notes. I may be able to determine, but without them, there's no way for me to evaluate it. Until you try to make do with what we have on hand. Now, you must try that. I am trying. Did Dr. Mencken indicate the need for experimentation on animals? Well, it's a very common and invaluable thing in research. It seems that uh, your good morning has eliminated all your fears of the devil. Up until this moment, what's happened now? Haven't you forgotten that we are about to have another seance? Not with me. The spirits will decide that, and the conjure woman. Banji said that the conjure cards, the tarot cards, spoke to one person. They may well speak to another, for or against. Jean-Paul, do you think you're fit for another emotional upset? Raxel, look, he's been up all night. Please warn him that it could be dangerous. Once the master has decided, Raxel's words do not count. If he believes that he can speak with his wife... And if he doesn't, he'll blame us for his disappointment. Alison. May I be excused? He will not admit it. But he will blame anyone or anybody. There are many dangers. That's because he's a changed man. He's not the Jean-Paul Desmond I knew. What are you two really talking about? As you said earlier, what is the truth? the matter? You are scared about something. Oh, the resiliency of youth. To feel good in the morning and forget all that's happened before. Now, I have a good reason for my optimism. I have a new friend. Gito? He's bought me a present. He's brought me a present. A rabbit. Isn't that something? A live one? Oh, of course, a live one. Where did he get it? From outside somewhere. But, Holly, that's impossible. I mean, nothing alive exists out there. It's not out there now. It's here in the house. Where? Well, he's going to build a cage or something. I'm going to keep it in my room. Does Raxel know about this? Well, do I need her permission? No, but you can be sure that she'll have some opinion about the omen it bears. Omen about what, Dr. Carr? to aid in the restoration of my Erica. Where is your cooperation, Jacques Elois de Mond? I'm lending it. Oh, I admit in dribs and drabs, but doesn't every little bit help? I will answer that after the seance. I'm annoyed with you, Jean-Paul. 
push my patience, and there may be no seance, and Erica's lovely voice may be stilled forever. advise you once again against dabbling in the occult. You're not in the proper emotional condition and neither is your medium Vanji. Vanji has no fear for herself nor I for mine. I will hear from my Erica. I will reach her. By the way, if you want any of those animals for experimentation in the laboratory, I will have Keto get them from the main island when he goes over with the supply boat tomorrow. You're going to experiment with animals? Not with my rabbit, you're not. Well, why would anyone want to do anything to harm a little harmless animal? Why does anybody do the frightening things that happen around here? Did you get that? Well, right on this earth. On this island from Quito. Jean-Paul, where do you think Quito found him? Well, Raxel? Raxel? Oh, great spirit, great serpent. Oh, powerful and wise. Oh, wise one. Let us know how the devil's evil will enter this house by whatever means. Is the devil among us? In the shape of innocence? Raxel, he's just a little animal. Found where no animal can live. We may fear the, the worst. Now, not there so is evil in that animal. Not so fast, Raxel. Keto, come here. Did you find the rabbit here on Maljardin? He says he found it on the path to the boathouse. Maybe it came on the boat like I did. I hid and Keto didn't know. Well, that makes sense, Stompo. Perhaps it's been on the boat since Keto's last trip. It is a creature of the devil, and the devil works through it. Please, Raxel, quiet. Jean-Paul, perhaps it lived because it was on the boat and ate none of the poisonous vegetation on Maljardin. Well, I don't care what any of you say. It's my rabbit and it's going to stay my rabbit. Monsieur, can't you see the strange workings? It was placed there so Keto would easily find it. Placed by whom, for heaven's sake? The devil's hand. The devil who seeks to destroy us. Oh, Mr. Desmond, really, this is too much. I'm sorry. I... I must admit, Raxel, this is very unlikely. Master, an animal here is an impossibility. Is that not true? Up till now, yes. Then what force altered the impossible? Well, the forces that work on Meljardin. As the hour draws near, and the master will attend his seance and seek through purified minds and cleansed spirit to reach his Erica beyond the veil curtain. What does the master say? Keto, you will remove the rabbit. It is evil. Mr. Desmond, no, please. It brings danger and evil and more wickedness than we will ever know. It must be destroyed and buried in the sea. Oh. 
Keto, don't. Oh, please, please, you heard it. Oh, Mr. Desmond, how could you let him do this? John Paul, stop them. Wait. If the master wishes to contact his Erica and hear her voice, he will be advised. That animal is evil. Mr. Desmond, please, no. Jean-Paul, fight me no more, or then you will really feel my bite. 